Hey, Fort Worth family, it's Fort Worth Fabian. I'm back again with a video for the channel, and we're actually doing a reaction to the Alaskan earthquake. So, Alaska earthquake triggered alerts, brief tsunami warning. So, yesterday from Alaska's news source, there was, a, I guess, an update in regards to the Eastern Aleutians, which is an island chain near Alaska. I really didn't know that, but I had to do some research on it. 7.2 earthquake strikes Eastern Aleutians. Um, prompting the tsunami warning. So I guess that's a general area that it struck, but overall it's affecting Alaska. Uh, I mean, that it struck, and that's where it's affecting La Alaska at. You know, um, warnings of tsunamis. You know, tsunamis are nothing to play with. Uh, this news had dropped a few days ago, actually, but I think they're giving brief updates as to what's occurring. Uh, I never covered the story, so I'm covering it now. You know, much love, prayers out to those affected. You know, um, you know, uh, obviously wanted to share some insight into this and uh you know pray for those individuals and pray that god covers them during this time with that being said uh this is a reaction channel i react to news content different forms of content on this channel so um if you're interested go check out the playlist page which is a whole library of content that'll kind of give you insight into the different forms of content i drop here so i do have a link to trending news so i'll put the trending news playlist below in the comment section as well as in the description of the video but um, let's watch this video to get some insight from Alaska's news source, and then we're going to cover some other resources that give insight into the magnitude of a 7.2 uh, earthquake, what that really is and uh, what that kind of details. So let's just kind of read along some uh, context from National Fishermen. So Saturday night earthquake off Alaska coast set off local emergency warnings and a brief tsunami warning sending some residents of some coastal communities preparing for possible evacuations magnitude 7.2 quake centered 65 miles south of sandpoint alaska was felt widely throughout the aleutian islands the alaskan peninsula cook inlet regions according to alaska earthquake center at the university of alaska fairbanks the quake was detected at 10:48 p.m on saturday initially it was reported at 7.5 magnitude but downgraded to 7.2 soon after so as far as these magnitudes and the readings uh 7.4 7.2 i'm not familiar with that um, I don't come from uh, earthquake country. I don't come from earthquake land. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in Texas. You know, we're in the south here, uh, central south, so to speak. And uh, we, we face earthquakes here. We're, I'm not earthquakes. I'm tripping. We face tornadoes here. We don't get earthquakes. You know what I mean? Um, so it's funny. It's crazy how, you know, the different parts of the, the country have different things. You know, the east coast towards, you know, Florida. Um hurricanes we got the tornadoes over here and then a little bit out west we got the earthquakes so with that being said i'm not sure what that is i think over seven is probably something detrimental uh and uh interesting enough i did a video on california's earthquakes the other day or the tectonic plate shifting and things of that nature and how the foreseeable future tends to uh predict or see that there's going to be additional earthquakes uh affecting that part of the country so with that being said, let's hop into uh, Alaska's news source and see what they have to say about this. Seven point two magnitude earthquake struck near the eastern Aleutian Islands last night, prompting tsunami concerns for some of Alaska's coastal communities. Okay, so I didn't know that they'd have footage of this earthquake. You can see in this video right here, items shaking in Cold Man. Bay and people scrambling in another video in Perryville. The earthquake like hit the that. island chain at 1048 last night. The epicenter was located about 55 miles southwest of Sand Point in the Aleutian Islands, about 615 miles southwest of Anchorage. It was widely felt across the Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, and Cook Inlet. Then information from the Alaska Earthquake Center. A tsunami warning was issued later downgraded to an advisory be before being canceled just before one this morning. There have been no immediate reports of significant damage or injury. We spoke with a regional news reporter who has been covering the earthquake at a radio station in Sand Point. It certainly is a scary potential disaster kind of situation. We take those things seriously, but at the same time, it is so common here. We are on the ring of fire and uh, this is Alaska, so we just kind of shrug and get on with our day. Right. Um, when I had done the video as far as California goes, I looked up places that are the top earthquake places. Cali, um, they mentioned Alaska, and they mentioned Hawaii get earthquake crazy too. So that's news to me. 
I'm not familiar with these, you know, parts of the world like that. You know, we hear about them. We don't really. And I think Alaska is like a whole different world to us Texans. You know, um, we come from the heat. Um, I think it would be kind of an eye-opening living experience if a lot of Texans ventured and lived out in Alaska for a few months. <laughs> but um, like Dude said, I guess it's just normal to them. You know, interesting enough, just like if you're native to that place and these natural occurrences happen, they're just normal to you. You know how to take cover. You know what precautions to take. You know what to do. Like here in Texas, we get tornadoes. It's not nothing crazy. Uh, and it's crazy when, you know, when people come over, they're, they're, they're just so disillusioned about the tornado. Oh, my God, a tornado warning. Uh, oh, what do we do? And I mean, I'm just kind of like, just chill at home. <laughs> like, because I grew up with tornado sirens going off, warnings. And, like, they say, oh, if you got a basement, cool. But um, there are not many basements like that in uh in Texas. Um, unless you got, like, an underground bunker or something like that. But um, below, you know, below floor level. Um, but they say, you know, get in your bathtub or in a place to where obviously you'd be the most safe and protected if something came blowing through. So, uh, same in Florida, they get, they get hurricanes. It's kind of like a, a walk in the park to them. They don't really worry too much or fret. There have been an estimated eight aftershocks in the area of the earthquake, the largest of which measured 5.0 in magnitude about three minutes after the initial earthquake. Calls to Cold Bay City offices and conversations with people in the Sandpoint area have found no significant issues or threats to residents. And Whatever you... No threats to residents, which is the upside to that. And, uh, you know, I didn't know that that uh, video was going to show footage as far as, you know, the occurrence and what happens during an earthquake. We've seen videos in California, but this one is actually from four years ago when it's a seven, um, I think 7.1 uh, earthquake. So I was going to try to do a comparison. So glad we saw that video footage there. I think the real natural, I'm not going to say natural disasters and these, these, these storms and things of that nature can't hurt you. Obviously, there's always a warning to take cover, protect yourself. But out of all of them, tsunamis take the cake. Tsunamis take the cake, man. If you get a tsunami warning, you evacuate. You out of there. Because those things, man, they're no joke, no games. 7 magnitude earthquake. This one seemed more intense than the one than the one we just saw. And the other one was supposed to be higher on the Richter scale. Which yeah. is kind of crazy. Lady just sitting on the ground. Nobody helping her up. Wow, look at the roads. That is crazy to me. I don't know they was, I didn't know they was breaking roads down like this. Got a house on fire there. there ain't nothing left of that thing. Pray pray that nobody died. I want you guys around that post. Oh. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking. This is the thing about um, some of these occurrences and stuff. Definitely prayers out to those affected, man. And then people always talk about, well, why would God let something like this happen? Hey, man, we live in a broken world. You know, God never said that there wouldn't be bad things or crazy things that go on in his world. And the purpose isn't to save everybody from the world. You know, the real purpose is to save your soul. You know what I mean? God God guarantees a, a, a better world. This is just a moment in time. Honestly, people need to wake up and believe that. Why would God let this happen? Well, it's not about him letting things happen. Everyone has a choice. We live in a society where things are falling naturally. But as the world goes and natural occurrences, things like that are just out of the control. Uh, not to say they're out of control of God, but it's never been bypasses an occurrence that would never occur. These things are <laughs> depicted in the Bible. So be prepared and understand it's a part of it. But, you know, there's a better life after this. There's a better, more wholesome world after this. And you have to believe that. Just believe in Jesus Christ. This world is about saving your soul. Believe in Christ. Come to Christ. 
and you will be saved and you're guaranteed paradise. Why would you not want that? You know what I mean? Paradise uh, everlasting. So prayers out to those affected, you know, God bless, you know, um, anybody affected to, you know, I think they mentioned this one, the more recent one, nobody really got hurt. So that's, that's great news. The one that we just viewed was from four years ago. And that, like I mentioned, that seemed more intense than the 7.2 on the Richter scale, which you would assume, would assume would be more heightened, more detrimental, but, um, Hey, the world we live in, man. Natural disasters are going to keep occurring, man. Mother Nature, <laughs> no control. But um, tsunamis are a different beast, like I was saying earlier. You know, prayers out to those who are naturally affected by tsunamis, that they get noticed, that they can evacuate their towns and just get out of there, man, because those are things in the movies. When you see a wave, a, a tidal wave, that's just like stories and stories high. No, sir. No, sir. I'm out. But anyways, yeah, that's Alaska earthquake triggered alerts. Brief tsunami warning. Hopefully the tsunami don't hit. You know what I mean? But um, comment down below your thoughts on this. Uh, peace, love, prosperity. We'll catch you guys in the next video. We out.